Hello and welcome to Behind the Jokes at the Irish Inquiry. I am your host. I use the name Aidan of the ancient family, the Killians. Welcome to the show. This is the comedy show. Well, it's not a comedy show. This is the show that talks about two comedians about what they're doing now during this tyrannical lockdown. <laughs> and uh, see what they're up to. Uh, comedy is kind of famous for, for, you know, people laughing. But also, if we look at the greats, we, you know, we've seen... Uh, Bill Hicks, George Carlin, Lenny Bruce in Ireland. We've had Dave Allen, maybe even Tommy Tiernan to a certain extent. People who've got something to say, something worth hearing. So you leave with a laughter and also feeling that your soul and your mind are nourished. Often, nowadays, not always the case when you turn on the telly. Sometimes you might laugh, but then you feel dirty about laughing because the jokes are so bland and filled with maybe even animosity for all things good in the world. Uh, so... Today's guest uh, certainly isn't anything like that. He is a man who always has something to say, and he's certainly one of my favorite comedians. In my humble opinion, he is the most interesting man in the comedy world today, and it's a real pleasure to have you here today, Steve Hughes. Thanks for joining us. How are you getting on? It's, uh, I'm, well, like everybody else, I'm having a fucking great time. <laughs> Where are you having a great time? Oh, man, a great time, you know. I you know, spent five years getting out of a nervous breakdown to be good for about 18 months and then uh, go into this. So I'm having a top 10 years, you know, like. Five years nervous breakdown. What was that from? Maybe you predicted what was going to happen. Maybe you're a prophet. No, I was lucky. My soul actually said, mate, you don't want to have hardcore suicidal depression in the middle of a fucking made up pandemic. Let's get this out of the way now. We <laughs> tapped you on the shoulder about three years ago, but you didn't listen. You went on the Renault Road and kept fucking mucking around like a fucking guy in his 20s. So you're a five planet Scorpio. You want to drag yourself through hell? Well, fair enough. Come along. <laughs> So, so five years of hell, you were in five years of a proper like suicidal misery, depression. How did you, how did you, oh, you'd get, you you'd get, you'd get, you'd get break sometimes, but you knew you weren't better. So, all right. How did you get, well, how did you get rid of it? Go for a walk along the beach and have a glass of water, do 10 press ups. <laughs> no, I fucking did everything I could to get off the fucking antidepressants, which I somehow found myself in that world, even though I was like, no, 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 but, you know. But there was no way I was going to stay on antidepressants and fuck this their bullshit and let it work. And you know, I remember the Did doctor you know said that? to me once he goes, he goes, Well, the doctor said to me once he goes, Why don't you want to take these? He took illegal drugs in your life. I went, Yeah, not every day. <laughs> <laughs> Just like three or four days a week. <laughs> yeah, 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 it tops. You know. so, but how, no. how long were you on them before you, you knew that they weren't for you? Like, how, I, knew how they you know? I, I knew they weren't for me before I even took them. I took them under complete argument even though i was in the midst of a fucking adrenal fatigue fucking gut breakdown neurotransmitter ne total soul mind body exhaustion collapse i thought mate and then i could i didn't know what to do it was the first time in my life i've been in such a place like such a like a void like okay like i'd fallen into like a place almost in your soul where i realized oh okay i haven't, I haven't been here before this is fucking intense right but i was still like so in that kind of fucking pain and fear, you go, okay, well, I'll give it a go. Anything to ease this fucking absolute dread out of me. But that, that didn't work and I fucking didn't want to be on them. And I don't, you know. What's, 
I don't trust pharmaceutical fucking companies and doctors and Western Rockefeller owned satanic structural fucking bullshit. So why, why wouldn't you trust Pfizer? I don't understand, Steve. I don't understand. Why would you not trust the best doctors and medical advisors like Dr. Fauci, for example? How could you possibly oh. not trust him? What, you think you know yeah. better? <laughs> God, see, you've actually, you've actually been conversing with the general public. I've just been in this room for 12 months. So I can imagine oh, though that that's 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 the uh, that's the, the 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 rhetoric you get with rhetoric the fucking rambling you get back from the bah, 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 I trust the scientists which ones the ones I follow that pay me oh wow, you sound like a lot of people about, you know what's so funny about these people are you a conspiracy theorist are you come home bah, 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 bah. you know what's so funny it's the very same thing the conspiracy theorists say uh, uh, saying they said on the news these fuckers would believe it they they would believe it. Absolutely, oh, that you think? No, absolutely, hundred yeah. percent. They, be- they, they believe it just there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. Well, it's on the news, though. But like, that's proper media, like the BBC or something. I mean, when would the BBC in history? When have they ever lied about anything, Steve? Ever? Just name it one time. Can you? You can't. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. Iraq, Iraq. <laughs> oh no, I don't. You know, I, I mean, that didn't come to mind at all. You know, the million dead Iraqis. But, you know, no, we'll believe this trusted bunch of people. In fact, you know, I've got to a point the last three weeks with the anger and the frustration being in this room. And even though I know deep spiritual fucking truths and I should be working towards that path, at this moment, my ego is dominating my fucking. And I'm to a point now where I'm just like, anyone, if you still believe this, that this is about some virus, you're an absolute fucking retard. That's, that's, that's my opinion. Right? That's, that's because, because what, what, what are you fucking, to, what? What country would it go? Let's destroy our economy. Well, and just people lock are dying, inside. Steve. Well, people and are just dying, lock Steve. Inside. Oh, I know. I see the news reports, like in Sydney. A new cluster, three cases in Melbourne. Shut the state. They shut it down. Wow. Three cases. So what, what are we going to do? We're going to be here in five years. Go, a dog sneezed in the Northern Territory. Right. <laughs> right. <sighs> And who are these people running? Yes, it's for protection. You bunch of fucking cowards. Mm. Have you, is there any men left or you're all feminists? Just, <laughs> well, you know, what? Women, they're all feminists. Women, they're all fe- Do you have any testicles? Like, <laughs> <laughs> are you saying that you're not a feminist then, Steve? The feminists no, started I love, I love it when people. I love, I love it when people get to me, what, are you an anti-vaxxer, Steve? I'm like, yeah. Who isn't? <laughs> Are you an anti feminist? Of course. <laughs> We're going to get cut off. Uh, Steve, I have a question. Seriously, uh, anti feminist. See, why do we have to get cut off? Why? Are you, see, I no, didn't make I'm, up the name anti feminism. That's what they call you. But if you disagree, if you don't agree wholeheartedly with 150,000% of their opinion, then, you, then somehow you're anti it. I'm anti it. I can't have a different opinion. I'm just anti, and therefore I'm the enemy, and I need to be fucking corralled into some kind of morality from the left. Fuck. So would I'm you consider angry. yourself left angry. or right? I've got to get, angry, out, I've got to get out of this room. Oh, yeah. Well, what? that'll do it to you. Left or right? Are you either or? Because you would have been considered left in the past for most of your life, yeah, I'd well, imagine. I, I, I never even knew there was left or right. I've never been under... I, you know, I didn't care. I didn't care. I, mean, I was an artist. There was left or right. I didn't care. I didn't even know if there was a left-wing, right-wing paper. I just bought the shit and read the news and see what was going on. I would have had lefty inclinations because I realised, yeah, I was brainwashed over the decades the subtle forms that has been coming through the institutions, this cultural Marxism that's been going since the end of World War II, coming through the institutions. You know what it was like? So all this psychological, see, this is a Trojan horse. Feminism, PC, fucking identity politics, transgenderism, all this kind of stuff. What's it? Divide and conquer strategies. How they got it in you? Through cultural Marxism, through the end of the war, through the institutions, through your churches, through your education system, through your structures. Plus, your country's been bought out at the same time, haven't it? There's no privatization. There's no way you, you wanted to kill Margaret Thatcher in the 80s in England. Why? Because she sold all your mines. Well, what's that? Well, it's pro- who hasn't done that now? Sold off the, the, the means for your country to self-sustain itself. What? Water, electricity, mines, farming. Just sell it all. To who? Well, to, to globalism. Right? So, so therefore, you don't own the infrastructure of your own countries to self-sustain yourself anymore. So you see, you're slaves already because you've, you've sold everything off. 
Your governments so are fucking, your governments are corrupted, your media is corrupted, your institutions are corrupted, and now the psychology of your very own citizens is corrupted because like a Trojan horse, of, except a psychological one, instead of a thousand Greeks sneaking out of a fucking wooden horse, you've got most of the fucking your citizens who have been brainwashed over fucking decades you're now bah, 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 walk around who just go that if you don't if you think that we shouldn't bring half a million africans to live in a small village in ireland then you're a racist <laughs> you know they've, they've lost even their sense of self-preservation i'm sorry you can't just dump two hundred and fifty thousand fucking guys from the tip of northern africa into a tiny village in cork right <laughs> <laughs> it it's true though people, and, people and secondly, who don't people, people, people in don't, Cork don't the people in Cork have a say it's their house yeah I mean people are getting called racist if you don't agree with that there are there's there's a I don't know the exact words of it it's a 2024 or 2040 Leo Varadkar some Irish politician guy who seems to be doing all the Bilderberg work he was saying that uh I don't know we've taken in a million people from Africa over a certain amount of years I'd have to look into that but when I heard, when I looked online about it, anyone who was saying not a great idea immediately branded as racist. You yeah, know? completely. So, but that's so. But you mentioned Australia, Steve. You were, lived in Ireland. You came from Australia, and you lived in Ireland. Go on, tell us how great we are. Tell us, do you love us? Do you love? Go on, tell us. We're fucking great, aren't we? Do you like <laughs> Ireland? Oh, I like the Irish. Why, why, why did it's you like, leave like all countries in the fuck? We'll just use the West because we live in it. We, we, we travel around. We can have a fucking at least a sort of overview of it. Well, it seems to be that all, all the countries have bought, they're all gone. It doesn't matter left, right. It doesn't matter. Do you think somehow the people are still like bloody Tories and the way they're handling this thing? What do you think if the other side was in, you'd all be out running around in the park? <laughs> yeah, right. People think there's a difference, yeah. like which, which, you know. There's a fucking which... difference. Your whole country's bought out. Do I know the finer details? You're going to go give me proof, Steve, because they love this time. We'll give it, where's your proof, Steve? Where's, where's your, your fucking proof? proof? Well, Where is your proof, proof, Steve? Is... Okay, common fucking sense in 20 years of reading books. <laughs> reading books. <laughs> Just being smart, being able to connect dots and actually using my instinct and going, what, does this, is this right? What, didn't, what, did you actually, did anyone out there actually believe Dick Cheney when he's on there telling you that, that, that because apparently a bunch of fucking Saudi Arabians flew some planes into your buildings, that means we've got to bomb Iraq. And Afghanistan. And, what? And it, yeah, well, mm, it doesn't have to make so, sense. So, 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 so I don't know if you remember this, you brain dead fucking get me vaccinated morons. I don't know if you remember this, but see the same news systems that went with along with the lie of weapons of mass destruction, they're the same news systems they're telling you this. I don't have to be a, I don't have to be a conspiracy theorist or a genius to work that out. I just have to be a human being with half a fucking brain that can look around at fucking objective reality. Jesus Christ, I've got, I've, I've got, I've got, this. and now I know these people I've known for 40 years, they've never read a fucking book on alternative history in their fucking life, not a thing, they've been going to yoga and watching footy and doing Netflix and seeing mum every second Wednesday and doing this <laughs> and going to parties, but now they know that everything I read for 25 years is just bullshit. <laughs> How do they know, because it's not, it's not oh, the Because they've been going to yoga you know? and, and watching yeah. footy. But even now, with everything happening the way it's happening, the fact that there are policemen on the street every five kilometers pulling people over, being able to pull into your house without a warrant to stop a party or a gathering, to stop churches going on, uh, to stop it. We've got quarantine like in Australia now. Australians, when you land over there, you get quarantined for two weeks with or without your consent. Well, we're bringing that into Ireland, apparently. And it's under army control, the defense forces, people in camouflage with guns, making sure that you pay. Yeah, you have to pay for your own quarantine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You have to pay for it. Yeah. Well, so that's why you're stuck in England. You can't even go back. I mean, you can, but you, you'd be it's pretty much imprisoned. Oh, yeah. And, and also, how do you get back? Well, you fly to Frankfurt, then you wait for 18 hours. And then you fly to San Francisco, where you wait for 23 hours. Then you fly to Singapore, where you wait for 16 hours. And how much is this? Three and a half thousand euro. <laughs> and when you get there, there's another three and a half thousand dollars for your prisoning for two weeks. Well, is there any sense in it, Steve? Is, is there any lives being saved from it? Because a lot of people will have the argument, look, because we locked down, a lot more people are still alive. Is there any truth in it whatsoever? Well, how can I make a decision about that? Because how, why, how can I go... What, what, don't you believe there's a virus, Steve? What, do you believe there's a virus? 
Then they go, well, I go, do you believe there's a virus? They go, yeah, I believe there's a virus. Well, okay, so you, whatever you believe is real. They wouldn't even have to have a virus. They run the media. They could just tell you one was out there and you fucking brain dead morons that believe it. Well, just believe it. Your mind is so powerful, you'll create it. <laughs> well, there you go. That's like uh, the placebo effect. And maybe that has the opposite uh, effect, you know? Of like, course it does. It, why do, you, yeah, why do right? you think they stick warnings on cigarettes? Because they're worried because they're concerned about your health? No, they can actually <laughs> fucking get cancer to grow in you. Why? Because they've got pictures of dead bodies like, sitting around your bedroom now. Yeah, you think, all sorts. Any, <clears throat> you read any kind of what? book <clears throat> excuse me any kind of book just just in the in the you could find it in a new age section think and grow rich or the power of the subconscious mind or one of these books the first time i read think and grow rich back in the 90s when i was in my 20s there was a, 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 a chapter called the subconscious mind okay so i read so it was basic sort of run down to the subconscious mind as well well where all the patterns and the habits and the traumas are and then so you know your subconscious takes on all this information so that you can function because your conscious mind, you can't stop every time you get to a road and think, what do I do? No, you just go like that, don't you? Why? Because the subconscious is fucking taking care of things, right? So they, so suddenly they go, okay, so, you know, however your subconscious is wired, this is like neuro-linguistic programming, and therefore that's going to fire up when you're triggered, and therefore this can ruin your life. Why? Because you go for something, but if your wiring doesn't correlate with the reality you're trying to manifest, then the, the, the subconscious conditioning will make you behave in ways which is called self-sabotage. Right, right. That's the basic sort of fundamental nature of the subconscious mind. Right, it's directing ninety-five percent of the way you're behaving and thinking and functioning, and it's it's there for a survival reason. It's also can be a big hindrance to you. Right. So therefore, so just reading that 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 chapter when I was in my twenties, I thought, how come no one mentioned this at school? (laughs) 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 Hmm. Wasn't I there for fourteen years? But no one thought that she perhaps. Do you know there's a part of yourself? Um, that could that could make you successful or absolutely ruin your life and take you to suicide. Oh. <laughs> no, they didn't think to bring that up. So therefore, I don't know how we got onto this subject, but back because I'm I'm I'm, I'm a bit hyped because I'm ranting. So the, you know, I'm, I'm not here to make friends tonight because I'm just felt great. I get to speak to Aiden and I can have a fucking rant because usually I like to be more wise and spiritual and go, yeah, we're all one and stuff like that. But. Uh, Steve, let's talk about that for a second, right? You're very welcome to be whoever you are, and our audience can turn off if they don't want to be here, or they can of course they can. turn so on, you, of course, or they can of turn themselves can. on, do whatever you like. Yeah, see, that's the free, that's the freedom of choice. We, you have the choice to do that, but nowadays you don't have the choice. You can't shop in here unless you put a mask on. You can't go in here. You can't travel unless you take a vaccine, or if you have a vaccine passport. And you can't do anything. Idea. You can't even. You, you can't even uh, ask. Uh, Excuse me, we don't want the 4,000 new immigrants in our tiny town of 330. Can't even discuss that. Can't discuss anything. You can't discuss, I'm sorry, men can't breastfeed or give birth. Yes, they can, Stephen. Yes, no, they can't. Yes, they can. And they can't. But and yeah. Chest feeding. Chest did you, feeding. Now, did you see all the right. women getting their ass kicked in sports? That oh, lady, I'm just like. I'm just, transgender I'm just sports, transgender. There's been like a four. They're getting hammered in sports. So you can't even. Good. Uh, what's going on? Good. Good. <laughs> hey, I mean, they by, wanted by it. dudes. They wanted it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but they, they're going to they get hurt. The, I feel they, sorry they for them. The, didn't they promote the ideology? Uh, I feel sorry for the poor women who are against it and have to suffer from this. Yeah, but all you fucking hurt, all you people out there that just go, oh, yes, it's a great idea. Okay, well, the first woman that gets a neck broken from some guy that just goes, oops, me knowing Sarah. Well, but you saw, it's funny, Steve, because years ago I did karate when I was a teenager and I was I was fighting and there were, there were short, there was a woman, she was brilliant, she was better than me, right? She was a brown belt, I was probably purple at the time. And I was told to fight her, right? Because there was she was short on women. And I was taking it easy. And they pulled me aside and said, hey, stop taking it easy, All right? So then I fought normally and I hit her. And I always felt so bad, like, you know, and she was holding her face. and didn't break her nose or anything. And then after that, they told me to keep doing it. And I just wouldn't do it. And she just, you know, she ended up kicking me. She knocked me to the ground because I just wouldn't hit back because I didn't want to hurt her. But that's not what I'm seeing in the... <laughs> In the, uh, the the headlines of the sports, they're just getting pounded, yeah, see, taken out. Yeah. 
Yeah, but they, they're not men, they're women. Yeah, you know? yeah, of course, right. I forgot about that. I forgot about that small yeah. detail, <laughs> small <laughs> detail that once was. <laughs> just being a man or a woman now is just like, you know, buying a, a pair of jeans or a dress. Oh, Tuesday, I might wear the dress. Thursday, I'll wear the jeans. Whatever. I can be, I can be anything I want. No, I can be anything I want. Steve, what about comedy? Yeah. Uh, do you still do comedy? Do you still consider yourself a comedian? Uh, how, like how, uh, how does, how well, does you, your week look? Hard, it's hard to consider yourself a comedian when you never when there's no gigs. About a year ago, I was chatting to you, maybe less, and you were telling me that you'd done this tour in Australia. There was like seven hundred seater, over thousand seater, sold out theaters. That's not that long ago. Like yeah, it probably no, feels like it. a yeah, long we... time ago. And then yeah, we, they, they, we did Asia together in, uh, yeah, Vietnam and uh, Tokyo, Bangkok and uh, Shanghai. That that cluster f- going with gig. <laughs> and uh, we did uh, some great gigs. The gig, but, was, the gig was shocking. I had a great night. <laughs> yeah, we had a great night. It was good fun. But what about, so the difference between that and now being more or less stuck in that room, as you said yourself, I'm sure it's not always in there. But uh, how, so, no, sometimes you're not a I comic get anymore. anymore. Okay, where I'm going with this, right? I'll tell you where I'm going with this. You once said in an interview that uh, some of the people, I don't know the exact words you used, but maybe you looked up to or whatever you were inspired by, Henry Rollins and uh, Jello Biafra from the Dead Kennedys. And they're like, not comedians, but they say a lot of intelligent and interesting stuff. And I would maybe put them in the spoken word category. Would, would you agree with that? Yeah, it's got completely spoken word. Okay, right. You're a bit like that too, because you say a lot of interesting stuff, and it happens to be funny without you putting in punchlines as such. So, could you could you find yourself in that category? Oh yeah, I guess you could. You know, if I well, it's like to write it and be be intelligent, not just be like I am now and feel like having a fucking rant. And uh, but yeah, definitely spoken word. I mean, that's I, you know, I, I, that's like when I first saw Bill Hicks. To me, that was like, oh, now Bill Hicks was like watching. Henry Rollins and Jello Biafra merge with Richard Pryor. <laughs> you know, now we've got a now we've got a spoken word guy who's got the killer fucking jokes. You know, like like so so. And and when, when I say they inspired me, it was because when I hung around punks when I was playing in thrash bands, that, that, that's when they those I think those guys kind of started those kind of spoken word albums, and they were really interesting to me. Like, what's what what's this? You can do a record where you just talk. Like, yeah, it was kind of it was really interesting. I found that really interesting. You know? And it was inspiring because it was, you know, the kind of stuff we were into then, which was, you know, which which is so funny. You know, why I can't stand PC people because they're like, you're so racist doing this and all the, all the problems and the white suppression. Mate, when I was in the death metal punk thrash world, that was the world that was already dealing with all those issues. Like, no one gave a fuck. They were, all, they were getting dealt with. Like, on the whole scale, were you fixing the world? Of course not. But I've always been in underground punk world. No one gave a fuck who was black or white or Chinese right. or it's woman or gay. So no inclusive. Everybody's no welcome. Inclusive. Everybody's a weirdo. A welcome weirdo. Yeah. Uh, original. And also creative. in the underground death metal world, yeah, there's fucking hardcore right wing groups. There's it's the underground. There's skinheads. You know, you're in the outlier society now, right? Right. <laughs> so depending on what you're into, you can attract, and especially the '80s, '70s, the '80s. What were well, those skinheads? It was all separate punks, metalheads, skinheads. Then thrash and punk kind of merged with thrash and skinheads kind of drifted apart and disappeared, really, didn't they? And then there was and then there was straight edge punks who were against alcohol and drugs, but they became like leftist militants, you know, bashing people who had a beer. You know, they're out they're oh, out of control, God. you know. Wow. That was I all get straight, on well. straight edge. I wouldn't get on well with them. <laughs> no, straight edge hardcore, you know, and then but you know, all the metal gigs that I've been through the years, you know, you're watching you're watching guys in wheelchairs who help everybody helps fucking surf. I've it's like my 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 Pakistani gay mate who d- sort of dresses like a big flamboyant woman on stage, and he's funny as fuck. This English guy, he once did Bloodstock, a heavy metal festival with us, and he's gay and he's black and he dresses in these, and he's like, "I'm so scared, Steve. I'm so scared." I'm like, "I'm gonna have you have a great time." He goes, "I'm oh god." He said he he wore a leather kilt and he got some Doc Martens and just turned up. I saw him, it was a festival for three days. I saw him on the second day, just with a bunch of metalheads. He comes up to me, I'm having the greatest time. I'm having the greatest time. <laughs> Off he runs with his metalheads. <laughs> I'm like, you know, and I'm already from that world. It's like it's like these young people have been brave with your PC. They, they think they're the first people on earth who have discovered, you know, sometimes people are horrible to one another. Yeah. 
Yeah, we know. <laughs> you, you did that material years back, uh, Gay is the New Straight, right? I'm guessing, I never asked you, but I'm guessing like that material was, I suppose, very... Straight's the New uh, Gay. Straight's, yeah, sorry, yeah, Straight's the New Gay. But I'm guessing that a lot of gay people loved that bit. You were probably like a gay oh, idol for a while. I had a guy in Norway come up to me once. He goes, he goes excuse me. Yeah, he goes, can I talk to you? Yeah, he goes, first I want to let you know I'm gay. I went, all right. And he goes, when you started that bit, I thought, here we go. Oh, here we go, yeah. <laughs> Another fucking bunch of fucking... He goes, by the time you'd finished, I went, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, I've been trying to tell people this for years. Do you know, <laughs> you know how much it is to have sex with men? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Must have, yeah you would have been uh, a, a bit of a legend in that world <laughs> but, but you know it's it's just a, it's, it's like it's like i'm living in and it is it's like that film idiocracy now we're in it we're in it we just went full idiot in a short amount of time no, oh, it's we just for, it's, it's, it's been decades, but it seemed to have banged it's i think once they really got into the schools and they started to get to the children then you saw them Bloom. I mean, if I look at old BBC footage from the 60s, you realise it was a left-wing infiltrated fucking thing then with Michael Parkinson cutting. Have you seen the, have you seen uh, Edie, uh, not Edie, I mean what I'm talking about. The boxer, fucking boxer. famous one. Sting like mean? a bee. Muhammad Ali. Oh, yeah, Muhammad Ali. There. Yeah, yeah. I when he it. was on there, you know, when he was on there saying he, he doesn't have sex outside of his race and no one should have sex outside of their race and like, because, you know, to breed and stuff, you know, like for nature. And you should have seen the BBC. It's like the 60s. The Parkinson's freaking out. You don't have to say these things. You don't have to say these things. And he was just, what are you talking about? You know? He goes, don't tell me that I'm going to, don't tell me I'm going to have a great time with some Chinese wife. He goes, I've got a black American wife. That's who I have, right? He goes, look at, he goes, look at nature. Look at it. Eagles go with eagles. Bluebirds go with bluebirds. Hedgehogs go with hedgehogs. I'm sitting there in front of you. <laughs> Yeah, but he'd say what he wanted. He seemed to be literally king of the world. He was, he was seemed to be very free in here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Didn't have much fear, or at least he faced his fear. But what do you think about um, this idea of the world at the moment with this fear and love? Because you mentioned that uh, your spirituality, there is a huge, I don't know how to phrase it. Maybe you can do it better than I can. But there seems to be more fear now, whether that's created by the media or, or whether that was always here and now it's just more obvious. What's going on? Where is this fear coming from? Is it more than usual? And um, what's going on with it? Well, well, you know, who can give anybody an answer? No one. Only anyone can say what they fucking see and feel, and then you know, someone by the hates it or fucking get something out of it. I guess. If I want to be wise about this, you can look at it like this, can't we? I'll try and remember. My brain goes all over the place. I'll start with this. When they first started this lockdown, I, they sit there, they said, this virus, rah, 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 rah. I went straight down to the park and lit a fire. Right? There's a big park in where I'm staying. So, right, I've got to get nature into me. I grew up in the bush. I know what you need, right? You want dirt, smoke, sun, air. You want nature in you, right? Dirt. The things that they've told you is bad for you. No, you want dirt. That's why I grew up pretty healthy and took it for granted because I grew up in the bush and I was living, they slept in caves and went camping and saw one in rivers and I didn't know how much that fucking helps, right? So I'm straight down, straight down to the woods and I'm there to sit next to the fire, making sure the ash is getting in me and so forth. So this black guy comes up. He saw I had a fire and he, he was funny. He goes, you having a fire? I was like, yeah, he goes, I like your style. <laughs> <laughs> I like fire. So we come and sit with me for about three hours, right? So we were sitting there, man, this black guy, just like, he had some bongo drums, a little play, just talking and sitting around the fire. And then we, he, we went to leave. And we, we go to shake hands like this, and we both went, ah, you know, because of this, this, this virus thing. You can't oh, write. No. But, but as we went like this, you know, the, the, the little fear, because it had only been going a few days, it came up to me, oh, what if this guy's got a thing? And as that fear came up, I went, that's what they want. Mm. That's what they want. They're going to trigger that in everybody, right? And how do they trigger it? Well, e easy. The threat of your own mortality that crosses all bolts, borders, cultures, traditions, religions. It's global. It goes down to the single plant world, doesn't it? What the ancient inbred, not inbred, the, the fear of death. Bang. It's a fucking big button in it. Press it. Bang. You got to, you got to, you trigger the world. Mm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Nuclear bomb. So as as, a war over yeah, here. So as, soon, so as soon as that fear came up in me, I went, see, that's what they want. 
Gotcha. This is self. This is called self responsibility, isn't it? You look at it. You don't just react to it. I used to believe me. I'm no fucking saint, and I'm not here to preach to anybody. But I looked at it and went, right. I said, I'm never doing that again. They're not having that. I'm not going to entertain this, and I'm going to not shake this fucking guy's hand. So I haven't thought about their virus or their mask or their fucking washing your hands or their socially distancing once. And I haven't watched the news once. And I don't think so. On one level, as much as I'm getting frustrated today, and I'm I don't Steve, believe, Steve, it was all I over six believe. months ago. Yeah. <laughs> no one told you. <laughs> I'm like a Japanese guy in the jungle. Uh, yeah, after six it. months after, 20 years later. We found him there in 1955. <laughs> <laughs> just standing but, but, there. But, 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 but I, just, I just went, uh, well, see, uh, you got to get me back on track now. So I cut you yeah, off so, so, with so, the so, black so, eye so, the yeah, right. So, 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 because I, I haven't entertained it, right? I know how powerful your mind is. And I haven't entertained it. I'm not going to watch. I'm the border guard of my mind and my soul. So I don't watch the media. Why? Because it's military controlled. It's, it's, it's psychological warfare, military style. It's, it's, it's simply, and it's like any advertising. You think, the, you think the media is not using subtle subconscious manipulation and so forth? You know, it's so simple. I mean, I'm not a genius. They'll be probably using a ways I can't even spot. All you have to do is watch them talking to someone and they talk to Bill Gates and he says something and it flashes back to the newsreader who's going, That's right. Yeah, 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 you're yeah, right. So you're sitting there in some Zeta state or whatever it is that you get into when you watch TV. Uh... Just. Right, right. So it's not even taking notes. So you've got to become the board. It's just responsibility. You can become the border guard if you're minding yourself. And you don't watch it. Why? Because it's poisonous. Now, will that all be lies? Of course not. They need some truths in there to balance the lies, right? Because you've got to juggle. You know, you need some truths, you know. But if they're using the truths, they're using the truths to what? To perpetuate the lie. So, so it's, is that very black and white thinking, Steve? You're just judging? Yeah, I am. I've done enough research over 20 years to use that as black and white thinking. It's very simple for me. You don't listen to liars. And they're liars. Don't you know this yet? Don't you know this yet? I mean, the people in South America, not Southern States of America, South America, they said the difference between us and Northern America is that when our media and our government talks, we already know they're lying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, they already know. Yeah, 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 yeah. But let, let, we already know, right? Let me put it to you, Steve, that uh, maybe, maybe you're being a bit paranoid and you're leaning in the world of a conspiracy theorist, uh, you know, paranoia, because because Bill Gates has given like billions away. He's a billionaire. I was going to call him an anthroposophist, but I forgot the word philanthropist who's given away all of his money to charity. And therefore, he must be a good man. And he saved the world from malaria and He's getting rid of all the cattle so he can grow super healthy tofu for us. So surely, surely with all that under his belt, you must like him and Melinda Gates. Of course. <laughs> of course. Right, what do you think? Because, I mean, why, why, you know, there's nothing wrong with the guy who invented Microsoft suddenly discovering he's the uh, virologist of the universe. Because I've noticed if you do a if you do a, a YouTube video where you go how to fix your fucking aching back, you go. By the way, this is not medical advice. I'm just suggesting some exercise you could do. And gets why? Because it's illegal to give medical advice when you're not a fucking Good registered point. medical professional. Well, well, is Bill Gates a registered medical professional, or is he the guy who started Microsoft? But for some reason. <laughs> Because, of course, if you had $50 billion, of course, you couldn't build a, an image for yourself over the years with that kind of cash, could you? No. <laughs> no, Steve, he's a nice man who gave all his money to the Indians and the Africans so he could have vaccinate them against polio. And here's a black and white picture of people in those things in the 50s who had polio. How easy we forget, Steve. <laughs> 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 okay, so you don't I love don't him. Trust, I don't trust the majesty and the majesty that is my body. If I take responsibility and look after it, my thinking and my health and my, what I eat and put into it, I don't take any responsibility for that. And I don't think that my body, which is a mirror of the universe, which is a magical thing that can actually is still evolving into a 5D reality or something else beyond God, beyond this. I don't, th I don't trust that. I trust him. <laughs> See? Because he, he, will, he will help me stop my fear. Where did I get the fear from? I got it from his other friends. They gave you the fear. 
<laughs> I'm like, I'm, I feel like Neo that woke up in that Matrix that wakes when he wakes up in the pod when he's getting unplugged and he sees all the other pods. I didn't realize there were so many people in these pods. So but many. I should have. I should have because Beyonce yeah. video clips had 3.6 billion views. Yeah, but surely so, that's an advert or something, no? Do you think they're real? Katy Perry. Katy Perry. Three, that's half the planet. So half the planet thinks, yeah, let's watch Katy Perry. So, well, you know. What's wrong with Katy Perry, Steve? I don't know. Great tits. Is that sexist? <laughs> Edit. <laughs> You're not allowed like tits anymore. I'm pretty sure tits, boobs, and breasts are actually what caused uh, the fear in the first place. Because well, you I'm see desire and fear. Any, I'm not staring at their tits anymore. I'm just staring at their chest. Remember, it's chest feeding. It's yeah? chest. So chest give us a look at your chest. Right. Give us a look at your chest there, mate. <laughs> what's his end game what's bill's end game right let's 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 just say right he's he, he's not a qualified doctor we know that we know he was hanging out with uh, jeffrey epstein we know that that's mainstream stuff now right so he's hanging yeah, out with a, 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 an acknowledged uh, pedophile uh, and was it six times after yeah i don't, after I don't, I don't even get involved right. in all that that's that's a, usually so, people's, but yeah. right so all of that stuff uh, but the world trusts him right now. They're relying on him, him and Dr. Fauci and all his buddies. So who is he and what's his end game? Is he just trying to make money? Does he think he's doing good? Is he, is, is he, is he trying his best? Is that a possibility? Um, I, I, I'm genuine with that question. Some of my questions are yeah, facetious. Yeah, 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 but yeah, I'm wondering, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. He, he thinks he's doing good. Hey, Who the fuck put him in charge of doing good? Right. Well, that's another question. That goes back to what you just said about being, I'm using the word Excuse sovereign. Me. You said the magi- majesty. When a, man, when, when a man comes on mainstream TV and says, well, I feel, uh, well, you know, that it's perfectly correct that, you know, until the entire planet is vaccinated, then nothing can go back to normal. Excuse me? Who, why aren't the federal police just pulling him off the TV set immediately going, who the fuck are you threatening 7 billion people? <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. You're a fucking uh, yeah. terrorist. Who is this fucking guy that's sitting there going, well, I, it, I, it's not, no one's going back to normal until I vaccinate. What, what, everybody? What, the, the people who still live in the jungles of Brazil who haven't seen white men or any other men who still kill monkeys who blow darts and have rituals at night? Uh, 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 it, what, them as well? Have you asked them? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't probably not. Have you asked? Have you asked the people who live in the middle of fucking the top of Norway? The Inuit Norwegian people who live out in the fucking woods, who sit out there eating berries and don't drink Coca Cola and fucking have their own thing. Have you asked them? But you just don't. No, no, no. They, they will. Oh, we're doing it. Who? Well, I'm the guy that started Microsoft. <laughs> well, he fixed the viruses, didn't he? The, the 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 Microsoft viruses. He was good at that. I mean, I mean, when you look, it's so comical that anyone would fall for it. It's unbelievable. Excuse me, what, who the fuck is this guy to tell you anything? Right, that's a good point. Why are we listening to someone outside our own beings rather than making decisions for ourselves? And you talked about well, us being are, majestic. Yeah. What, what, what's this from? What do you mean? Are you comparing us to gods? What were you doing with that sentence? We, well, we well, worried- what, what, what are we? We can all sit there and believe that, you know, if you want to be an atheist and you think you're just a body and you've only got one life and blah, 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 well, that's up to you. I don't, you know, whatever. But, you know, really, at the end of the day, what are you? Are you your body? Are you your mind? Or is there something else? There's something else. There's something else that, that, that all this manifests out of, isn't there? And they just say in any kind of, you know, now we can get into deep mysticism, can't we, with dualism and non-dualism and what's reality and what isn't reality and, you know, what is the function of being alive? Is the function of being alive to let this fucking maniac to stick something in you because you're fucking scared and then you can go back to your taxed job in your slave system? Is this the function of your human being in the universe? Is this it? Of course it's not it. You're in a slave, you're a slave planet already. So in one sense, it, it, we've got ourselves to blame because we acquiesced for 2000 years, haven't we? We just stuck we're, and we're all in this system that we just, religion did it to us, everything. We pay the tax, we pay the tax. We go to work five days a week, five days, two days off, five days, two days, what? what? Till you're dead, right? It's, 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 and now you don't even have jobs. You just sit in an office going, uh, 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 uh. it's like that joke in Peep Show years ago. It was funny when he, when, when the posh guy gets his, his, his silly mate a job in the office and he goes in there and his mate Jeffrey's just spinning around on the chair or something. He's like, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? He goes, what's the other guy's name? You know, if I don't know, Mike, oh, whatever know. it is. Right, he's getting, he just says to the posh guy, 
Ah, oh, just relax. This is England. No one works anymore. You come into the office, you dick around on the computer, eat a muffin and go home. <laughs> <laughs> eat a muffin and go home. Uh, and it's like, well, that's what happens when you set off your manufacturing base, isn't it? And you create what? A service that based economy. Right. So Well, they're talking about getting rid of the jobs now with the robots and they're not gonna oh, need us they, anymore. Of course, of course they, they're they all just gonna you, give they, us they're not even talking about it. They showed you in the eighties when they showed you Robocop. They showed you. Okay, I don't remember that, but I remember the co- I remember Stallone, I think. Yeah, but I mean, that, what, what is that no, film, Robocop? Well, what is it? Well, you watch it and you go, well, in the future, we can have cops that are just robots. Well, yeah, they're going to have them. They showed you. Wow. Yeah, but they come on. They But that's probably Steve, just... a conspiracy theorist. I know you're nutty, just paranoid. It's just a film, Steve, and you just, you know, there's, just... no way that, there's no way that people would use films and the media to manipulate. See, that's what that. I was going to say. <laughs> you know, come on, Steve. <laughs> but someone would have come up with the okay right so but well, they're not going to need us anymore they're not going to need the workers anymore right because well, what's so funny well isn't it funny that you, does it matter you go to most people if you say to most people do you believe the world's overpopulated they go yeah they don't know that. they just go yeah i spoke to a friend of mine tells me on the weekend she goes well the world's overpopulated anyway i said hey, let me hang on for a second what why do you believe that what's this true how do you know She's just, well, because, yeah, you don't know, do you? It's just around. The world's overpopulated. Well, who told you it was overpopulated? Well, people like the United Nations when they brought out bombs, like the, the books, like the population bomb and rah, rah, rah in the 60s and the 70s. Why? Because they're getting you ready. Who said that these people are allowed to tell you the world's overpopulated? You're in a universe where life is, is constantly dying living moving up and down do you think that somehow it got it wrong and like it's simple people manifested and went oh no there's too many no you just have to evolve there's not too many you could fit all the people in the world into texas but now you all believe it so in that belief you'll have a collective thing now where you just go well it doesn't matter if a few go missing then does it and how do you get rid of something if there's too many of it I mean, how what do you, you think their how, solution is? How do you? War? And now you want to let the same institutions that promoted ideas like overpopulation fucking inject you with something. Are you a fucking retard? Well, that's an interesting question because uh, Bill Gates' dad worked for IBM with, I believe, Thomas Watson. Of course he Watson, did. Of course he did. Worked, worked with, for uh, fucking Planned Parenthood, all these Planned Parenthood, right. which are all what? Like, really eugenics. Parenthood, you change the name from eugenics, eugenics into Planned Parenthood, which is, which is what? Well, start to sterilize and bring in contraception, bring in all these ideas. Bringing these weird sexual ideas from Albert Kinsey and those freaks that now yeah, that's snuck through all these fucking transgender children are sexual beings and fucking rah, rah, rah. You know, but does anybody know this history? No, but if you, the funny thing is, if you do your own research, you're just a conspiracy theorist because you decided to look into perhaps, how is this world run? Whereas I was just watching telly and doing <laughs> yoga and going to work, Steve, but I know that you're an idiot. <laughs> What's wrong? Stop picking on the yoga people. Especially the ones in I did, spandex. I just use that because you know, you know. No, I'm only messing. I don't do it anyway. Yeah. I always want to. I always want to do yoga. It just seems like too much hard work. Oh, mate! So, it's, I was talking to some girl do yoga on YouTube the other night, and I thought to myself, you know, to get with with, with practice and stuff. I thought, no, 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 sweetheart. It, it, I could be practicing this since I was five. My body's not fucking doing. It's that. not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> that. That's that's one yoga. I want to. I want to watch you do yoga. <laughs> You couldn't train me enough fucking millennia to jump off a fucking bed and do the splits under the floor. Like, what are you talking about? Like, like, nothing could train me to do that. Think what I I don't even, when I still watch people do it now, I'm like, what what the fuck is going on with this person? (laughs) These, These girls with their legs up. And you just put I your know. leg up here and then, know, and just, then you hold just, yourself on one hand. <laughs> it's just about balance. It's just about balance. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I spent like a, a month in some uh, some center and they did yoga. Oh, the, so, you know, it took me a full anyway, month to be able watching. to stand on my hands. A full, just to stand on my hands. It took me a full month with my friend. And I can only do it for about 10 seconds, but <laughs> it, was, it was impressive. <laughs> So, Steve, what's the answer? What's going for? What's, uh, what's the worst case possibility? Where are we going with this worst case? And what's the best case? And, you know, wait, wait, wait. wait well, no, you, you can look at it like this. If I wanted to be wise, at the moment, I'm just wrapped up in my own fucking ego. Right? 
and have been for about two weeks. I just now, see, before I used to entertain my emotions when they just come up, and now after having a breakdown, you realize, ah, there it is. <laughs> There's that old pattern that's. <laughs> You know, the mind and the ego is like, it's, it's like a ghost, isn't it? You do some spiritual work and you think, oh, I'm out here. And it, it goes out that door and it somehow slips in the back door again. The next minute you're, what are you doing back here? <laughs> <laughs> you got me back here. Damn. <laughs> well, it goes, well, you know, I've been here 50 years. Then, so, you know, you don't get rid of me overnight, sunshine. And I have no desire to die. So, <laughs> no, we so this like that, okay? So what is the like what this. is the mind? You're 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 starting on it. So this mind is this you? Are you the mind? Are you not the mind? No, well I can't answer with any kind of you know. I'm not going to sit here and you can answer Let's for you. I'll answer for me. Seems to me you've got the body, haven't you? You've got the body. It's an amazing thing, right? Everything's connected. It's holistic. It's an amazing thing, right? That's why I can't believe you want these fucking dickheads to stick anything in you. If you fucking advance and evolve yourself, you'll understand it'll heal anything. It's amazing. I'm not there. I can't do it. But you can. Don't think you can't. You can. Where do you think we're going to evolve to? Just what? Ugh, right? Then you have your mind, don't you? You've got the mind, the conscious mind. You seem to think. And from that thinking mind, you create an identity, don't you? You think and you have your feelings and they come up. And then the mind seems to be connected to the feelings of the nervous system, the body. And from that, You've created this you. This is what I believe and what I like and what I don't like and what I, you know, who I want to have sex with or go out with or fall in love with. And, and I've been told that this is the amalgam of who I am. And you only live once and it's just, just this and no, 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 no. But really, you know this. <laughs> it's, right, yeah, right. But really, you know, there's something else, don't you? If you've got half a sensitivity, depending on how many lifetimes you've had, maybe we do get reincarnated and maybe there's young souls all over this planet who are just, yeah, they've got to see through this karma of being locked in this fucking dumb world. Of maybe that's their karma right, right now. So it's frustrating for me because maybe I've been here many times and you know, I've had a hard trip this fucking lifetime because you know, I had a lot of shit to work out and I didn't work it out. So I had a nervous breakdown and now I've got to work it out. But now I, in the midst, now, now, I, now it's in me at the moment. But I could look at it more advanced. So you go, okay. The mystics will tell you what, well, this mind, body, 3D reality where you think you're in here looking out, and there's a world and you can touch it and it's solid and it does all this and you're in it traversing through it, aren't you, right, right, in time and you're born here and then a certain, you get a certain amount of time until you die, so you're in this cycle, right, and so, and if you think you're just the mind, body, then life is very limited, isn't it, it's in this thing. Mm -hmm. But, but where does all this manifest from? Well, it manifests from what? What, what, what? Look at a desert. The desert tells you everything. People go, look, there's nothing out there. There's everything out there. Mm. Going, look at, look at, it's almost like when you look at the horizon. I was in the park the other day. So you see the land and there was just the sky. I go, well, look at that. That's like dualism. Look, there's the matter and there's the, there's the ether, right? There's this like yin and yang, right? So yin and yang is what? The subjective and the objective. You're living in dualism. There's up, down, black, white, in, out. Waves go out and in, hot, cold, wet, dry. So everything's in opposite, male, female, right? So here you are, right? And this dualism. Now, mystics will always tell you, okay, now you think this is reality. And, and to a degree it is, because it's everything and nothing happening simultaneously. It's, it's manifestation and unmanifestation, creation and non-creation happening at the same time something that the conscious mind cannot work out and super physics will tell you this too what's happening everything and nothing but your mind can't conceptualize that so don't try and work it out with this because it's like eating soup with a hammer it's just not the wrong tool <laughs> right right so <laughs> so they go, okay, so here's, here's the mind and the body, and now you're living in this reality, and you think this is just reality, but they're telling you what not is the real reality is, 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 the, is the source that all this manifests from, and that you are actually that source that's, that's manifest here, now with a mind and a body and a consciousness, and it, think, and, it, and it thinks, and the ego, and the traumas, and the conditioning, and, and it's... And it's sitting there thinking, okay, it's in a limited time span within this 3D world. They're trying to tell you, no, 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 it's an illusion. Right? It's not what 
reality really is. Reality is non-dual. It's beyond that. Mm. What, and what you are, which is why you're eternal, is you are from that manifestation. You are simply now in this manifestation, which is why Buddhists do what? Well, they want to get off samsara, the wheel of life, don't they? The wheel of suffering, which they call 3D life, this life. So in this life, they try and become enlightened. So therefore, when they die, the spirit will be more resonant with the singular. And therefore, you know, they may not have to come back anymore because they've, they've left, they've, they've become timeless in time. Right? So when you die, you're now already there. Because what's died? Well, just the ego and the body and the mind. But the mind doesn't die either, which is why killing yourself is not a good idea. Because the fucking thing carries on. The body doesn't, but that thing carries on. Which is why they go, you know, so how do you get karma? Well, depending on what you deal with in this life, it's not that it's a punishment to get the karma. It's just that the very energy that when you die with comes back. Because, because everything's cycling, right? So therefore, if you're seeking happiness, usually when you're seeking happiness, it's sprung from a seed of sadness in dualism. So that's why everything goes up. You're happy, you're sad. And therefore, so, so from this seed of sadness, because this is energy, it must return to where it came from. Which, so if you're seeking happiness through sadness all the time, you just keep getting sadness. This is not punishment. Right. It's just that they're telling you this is how this is a law. <laughs> <laughs> right? wow. and, and they tell you if you want to live in that law, we're telling you you can live in there. You can. But you'll get suffering. Right? Right? In fact, one of these great Japanese mystics, he says, if you want to keep burning in hell, then refuse to let go of your life. Hmm. There you are. Said it in a nutshell. He doesn't mean your life, he means what you think is is life. Because in that, when you're thinking your life, you think you can control it. And they're trying to tell you, you can't control it. Why? Because everything's rising and happening like this. There's a great guy who does non duels and talks. He goes, the thing is, you're, you're all verbing, but you think you're nouns. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Because everything is in, in constant flux. Look at nature. It's showing you every day. Look, I'm showing you the secrets. The plant comes up. This bee does, the plant dies, it goes rots, it, does, it comes up, it goes, it's just rising, falling, rising, falling. Life is manifesting, unmanifesting, manifesting, unmanifesting, manifesting, all simultaneously. And so are you in this body mind. It's just rising, falling, gone. So therefore, in one sense, today I'm wrapped, as I said, I'm in my own ego and my own fucking beliefs and traumas and that that have decided to wrap around me like a vine the last two weeks. But really, you could, I could, a true mystic, there'll be mystics out there now who are unperturbed by any of this. Why? Because they know it's just an illusion. Right. And that's, that's, that's <laughs> yeah, right. also, an illusion, if you're... an illusion that can hurt you and kill you, the body. And it's not, it's not just you understand this and it's an illusion. So you become nihilistic because it's still divine. It's creation. So it's a great paradox. And therefore that's no, it's no use using the, the conscious mind to try and, Fathom it, which is why they keep saying, go within, let go. Stop trying to fucking direct everything because there's other stuff going on beyond your little traumas, beliefs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And what maybe the church, what the church has told you for thousands of years about reality, which is bullshit. But I mean, Steve, I, maybe, I, 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 I just, maybe I despise, there's the answer. I despise feminism. Right? <laughs> Now, when they go the patriarchy, the patriarchy, now on one level, I'm with them. This is a very male dominated sphere of, of, of time that we're merging through. Right, right. But did it all come because men are horrible? No, I think some of it's come because the church has manipulated the power of the divine mother, the divine energy, and turned it into a masculine outward God, which is very masculine, isn't it? Outward. That's what masculine energy does. It's, 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 it goes outward. That's why men come, they fall asleep. Why energy is expelled. Women don't fall asleep when they come. Why? Because energy goes back in. It's like the ocean. Men dispel, lose the energy. Women take it back in. Right? So, that, so, that, so the church did take away the divine feminine understanding of that great power. All shamans understand the feminine is the great power because they travel through the subconscious. And so when you see that, when you see that snake, the Arabus, it's eating its own tail, there's a male and a female there one. 
And these two points where they eat rep represent the present and therefore the shamanic, from my limited understanding of pure, this is a deep topic, but my limited armchair fucking understanding of it, the shaman then, he, he's a shaman, why? Because he can go into states where he can travel through the subconscious. Now the subconscious is feminine, why? Because it's, it's the feeling world the emotional world. So the shaman knows how to, and it's like, and, and, and it's also, so he knows how to, so if he can travel through that world, which is also the underworld, then he gains knowledge. <clears throat> but the church did what? No, 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 all that, all that sipping wine, this is Jesus' blood and this is his body. No, that's supposed to be menstrual blood, not Jesus' blood, menstrual blood. Why? The power of the divine mother, the power of the divine, the power of grace and the divinity. But the church turned it all masculine, outward God father god outward everything's outward there's no secret knowledge and then they did so and on that, on that sense is there a patriarchy yeah but is it because men are horrible no right there would have been other things where where, where you became men became dominant why because you used to live on the planet which was animals and other tribes would come and kill you and nature will kill you and you didn't have air conditioning and heating so obviously these guys in the tribe are probably going to do all that kind of work so therefore they start to take over don't they why? Because they've got to kill the pigs and fight the bastards that turn up and fucking do all this. And they've got to protect women and children. Why? Because women and children are the, the, the weaker ones, the divine ones, the ones that need to be nurtured and protected from. But now it's a no, man, it's just horrible and violent. I'm like, oh God, you're fucking, it's so stupid. It's unbelievable. And so how do we get onto this now? Uh, yeah, this, this, this the, the, the divinity, right? So yeah, that was just an off topic. We're going into this. But so it's so, so what could be happening now? What could be what could state could could I go into? Well, you could meditate or go into states of what use your imagination or just let go of what use the power. A, a revolution won't work, another armed pitchfork revolution won't work. It's going back but, to what you're saying, it's just more karma. Violence is creating more violence, hatred. It's more and karma, we're gonna go right? back into the same cycle, right? We get back well, into the same karma. thing. It's so we karma. shouldn't go around killing our enemies, as tempting no. as it might seem. <laughs> Tempting as it made as much as today I've all ranted right. against them all day. I sit there going, but at the end of the day, if I'm, I'm blessed with this kind of knowledge, which I believe. Do I even believe it's true? No, I feel it's true. I've read too many books over the years of mystics from all over the world that all say the same fucking thing. Look within. <laughs> the answer's within. Anyway, it's always yeah, yeah, within. Yeah, yeah, when, right. you, when you look within, you know. And you don't have the worry of the external world. Like You turn off the telly, you don't pay attention, you don't fear COVID. In fact, you probably don't even fear death. Possibly a no. bit, but not no. the way, you know, yeah. So I mean, for you, I mean, looking within means what, Steve? How do you actively do that? What, what do you do for that? Do you like well, if meditate? I was, if I, you, yeah, well, I'm listening. I sometimes I, uh, well, I could, I could even look at it like this and go, I could use these people that are frustrating me and I'm abusing right now. I could utilize them because, well, because, because if they're affecting me, then it's in me. Right. If I'm deciding to get upset about their what I would call stupidity or ignorance or fucking just mind controlled stupidity, and of course part of it affects me because I'm sitting here, you know, losing fucking cash every single fucking day, not fucking working, not ever having a party, not seeing anybody, not socialising, not doing anything. And if the world goes to shit, these people will have me killed. Your general yeah. citizens, the mind and the ego is so powerful that these people will, and we've seen it throughout history, they'll rally against their fellow citizens and they'll clap and cheer as they're hoarded in fucking camps and shot. Mm -hmm. It's happened before and it'll happen again. And don't think it fucking won't because they're, they're more advanced and they're, and they're all PC. No, those people will clap and cheer first. So, and, and so, what happens sense, then? What I, so if you do, in one sense, I could go, if I was wise enough and did enough inner work, you'd, go, I, you'd want to get to a point where I go, well, I don't, I'm, I'm even going to forgive them all if they kill me. You are going to. You want to get there? Well, or you well, well I, oh, I'm not there. <laughs> well, it could be. Depends on your day. So, 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 in one sense, when they when they trigger me like that, I could, I could, I could be smart. And when the when it, the feelings, the emotions come up, I could then utilize that. I could turn my whole thinking around and go, "They've given me a gift, mm -hmm. right? What that's showing me what's in me." So I can either react to it with my mind, body, ego thing and get fucking retards, let Bill Gates stick fucking vaccine in them, you fucking idiots, right? Or I could go, well, that's mine. 
So I'd best lay on the bed and fucking just uh, let this be. And then feel the hate. But don't engage with it. Just watch it come up mm. and hang around and go, hello. And almost like one goes, go, welcome it in. Hello, come in. Because <clears throat> it's almost like it's almost like a part of it's like, because if you keep, I don't know, I don't get angry, I don't have that. Then it goes, well, you do, so I'll just go back under here for a bit and then I'll yeah, come up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just wait till you're not expecting it and then <laughs> I drop my yeah. fork. <laughs> that's what happens to me at the moment. Like, that's what happens to me. Tell, for fuck's sake, look at it. Fuck, what? what? <laughs> I know. I've been in an airport with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, you saw when it, when it hooked in, right? What do you mean you're taking so, me fucking lighter? <laughs> <laughs> I'll need me fucking lighter to smoke, you dumb fuck. <laughs> Steve will buy you a new one. I mean, I mean, we could put it just in a step of what we're talking about now when you when you when your own fucking conditioning or whatever takes over your ego mind or whatever. Bruce, you know Bruce Lipton, that guy. Dr. I know guy, the Bruce name. Lipton. Who's he? Right. Oh, he does. I can't remember what he. You, know, you look him up. He's a smart guy. Yeah. He, he's, right. he's, he's one for looking after yourself. He's fair. You know, okay. He's a good guy. But as he said once, it was very funny. He goes, "See, here's the thing. You know, and he was talking about the subconscious and the, and the patterns and stuff." But he goes, and this made me laugh. He goes, "So he goes, here's what happens to people. He goes, they meet someone. He goes, and you sometimes you even get that one where you're just so attracted, like, like." Like we've probably all had it. I've had girlfriends I've met, like walked into pubs and just sure, like, sure you have, Steve. Sure you have. Yes, yeah, not many in fifty years. Not <laughs> oh. There was he goes so he goes and then of course you know for that three months or whatever he goes you can't stop thinking about one another, can you? The chemicals are running high. The chemicals, right? He goes, he goes. It's you know you're both at your best. You're thinking about one another all day. You're having sex all the time. You're doing all this. He goes, and then after a while, this all starts to peter down right this is also biochemical as well because but also on the level of because you know this first three months you you're on your best behavior aren't you you're being cool you know you're, <laughs> you're, you're right you're, you're right but, what are but you not only about? that but not only that he goes he goes now all the old patterns start to come up as well right he goes so now there's not two people in the relationship there's four <laughs> <laughs> the two who thought they loved each other and the actual real and you know just is, is what he's saying true well divorce divorce lawyers are fucking they're making cash <laughs> you know so Right, you know, Steve. I don't, I don't claim to have no answers for anyone. I don't give out answers to anybody. You know, there'd be people out there that know tons more than me and people that know less. It's just that, you know, I'm really astounded at it's it's stunning. Anybody I know who's half awake, I'm just like, not because they read books, they're just half a fucking awake. I don't even like it's 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 stunning that you could it, it's 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 amazing to watch that you can just go up to them and show them stuff and they go. No. No, 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 no. Yeah. And it's, it's I'm stunning. not listening. No, no. Yeah. And yeah. it's stunning. And I know that you just can, well, what makes you think you're right, Steve? I didn't say I was right. I'm just fucking telling you, you know, like everything that's just coming out of your mouth, it's like straight out of the fucking textbooks. Like, like just, people used to have opinions. They just come up, I believe in feminism and I support transgenderism and the global economy and no borders and I'm scared of COVID and just blah, 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 blah. It's like, my God, you people fucking even think anymore. It's astounding. I mean, and I think people have been slowly uh, psychologically acclimatized. They don't even know. I swear if you talk about the woods, if you took about the woods for a month and made them sit around a fire for fucking a month, they'd all come yeah. out. Oh, wow. Oh. Great. <laughs> I didn't even know it was in me. All right. Well, you know, I, I know someone, I don't want to say his name, but my whole life I've always been amazed because he's kind of on it. He kind of knows what's going on and what's not. But this time, hook, line and sinker. Vaccine's going to save us. Believes in the masks, believes in the uh, the whole thing. The lockdown's helping. Them. I just, and I'm like, wow, where, where do you get What do you mean by that? And he just comes out with stats. And then I go and look at it and I go, you know, the way you said this, well, here's the actual stats on a government website. And still, then he'll just go, yeah, but, and I'm like, wow, this is, this has gone too far because this is someone yeah. who didn't normally believe it. Who's smart, like real smart. And I'm like, <laughs> now I'm worried. Now I'm starting to worry because 
Well, I was. It's like you, Steve. There's the two. There's the ego and there's the who we are, the true inner self, right? This eternal being. And yeah. that part doesn't have fear. Fear doesn't exist there. But when huh. I play into my story, when I go into the ego, I'm going, I don't see a way out if you guys keep doing this. And I, I've made it real clear. <laughs> a lot of people have told you that. Oh, no. Uh-oh. And then I go, I oh, hear, listen, it's nothing to do with me. That's other people's stuff. I just got to be still here. Don't react to the thing. Don't lose my cool. Don't have any hatred. It is what it is. Try not to judge. I mean, try not to judge. But like, you know, I'm, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, looking, I said, I'm looking at buying land, Steve, in Ireland now, like in the countryside, <laughs> polytunnels and stuff. I'm getting away out of the city for this. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. Be good. Just well, I'll come yeah, you can. You'd be welcome to. That's what I'm looking for yeah. to build a place. Well, see, see, yeah, see what you mines. just said then is exactly what, you know, if I'm, if I use my wisdom, that's exactly, I know it's a much better path. What you just said, you understand just it's my reaction. It's my, I'll just stay here. I'll just constantly think of the world I want to see, not the world I'm scared of. Well, that's my you know, translation from what you were saying today, Steve. So that's, we, we co-created that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you know, you know, what do you want to fucking manifest? So, so yeah, except yeah, as we said, you know, those, those traumas and those egos and those things that are all in you, they're in everybody. I mean, look at PC, look at these people screaming. It's a pure victim mentality. And look at them. They go out of their minds. They're just prodded. Yeah, they're, getting, they're, they're getting offended. <laughs> what you talked about I 10 mean, years ago. Steve, well, I do have to wrap up soon because we're 15 minutes over, but I, I love having you on. And maybe you can, um, if you'd like to share a vision. A nice vision, one that you might have. Or end and say whatever you want. I don't give a fuck. But, oh, know. well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, if I'm smart, you know, nature nature is is, is wiser than us. You know, there, there's a force in the universe that I think we're all a part of that uh, it's just wiser than your ego and your beliefs. Hmm. It's just wiser than that. You know, you're, 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 you live in a multidimensional world, a universe. You live in a universe. It's, it's some, some troglodyte on the news with... Uh, it's just, just it's, it's, it's a horror film. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think you have any power? You're here. You're a manifestation in the universe. Have these people with, oh, I'm a world leader. No, you're not. You've got poo in your undies like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah, 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 yeah right. You're, you're, you're just a dickhead, right? You forgot to flush like, the toilet. I don't want to say that like you're just a dickhead, like a black or like I'm a child, but, but, but you know, but even psychologically, you don't know sort of you, subconsciously you'll, you'll think these people are on a higher status because it's the way the, the psychological structure is set up within the collective, you know, it's just, you, mm. you don't even know, oh, they're, 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 they're the leaders, even the word. Lead. Look at the conditioning that's, that people, one, this is dangerous to put this over your fucking, your mouth has a job to do. <sighs> like your asshole, stuff comes out of it. Right, right, keeps the system clean. Your mouth's connected to your asshole, right, right? They both expel stuff <laughs> to keep the system filled with it, right, right? Would you put something over your asshole? You don't put something over your asshole, are you going to be in for a disaster, right? I don't even know why I got under this. You should do the like, interviews like that from now on. Well, listen, I, I forgot my mask, so just for health and safety, I'm going to speak like this for the interview. <laughs> So here's what I was going to say. Yeah, right. So, so, so why don't, even when you tell these people, we'll give you some information. Maybe you can go and listen to some wise people. Don't just listen to everything I say or believe. Just go and listen to some wise people. Right. You're right. They're, they're, but it's almost like you hand them the idea. Do you know you're a more powerful being than you've been led to believe? No. No, I'm not. And I want someone that. to come and save me. I want some, no one's coming to save you. Where does the come and save me come from? Probably from the fucking dominated matriarchal, uh, patriarchal religious that gives you the outside of God. Someone's going to come and save you. That's a big collective archetype there within the collective psyche. So these people who have set this, this system off in the world, they're so smart. They know how to trigger great archetypes within the collective psyche. So you might be up against that. Why can't I talk to these people? Because they've instigated massive archetypes that are manifesting through what? These are This is how great stories are written, like Star Wars. Why? Because he implements great archetypes within the, with the story. So why are so many people into this? Yeah. Mm. Right, right. Isn't this what a great artist knows how to do? Knows how to fucking get through what? Right. And, and, a, and like a genius artist, what? That can go that deep? Right? 
So that's what I think is happening now. You can, you can, you, you know, with PC, everything. This would be a deep conversation. We go on for hours, right? But it's oh, like we, that's we can get like you back. White... It's not like you're doing anything. <laughs> 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 so, so I guess that's why you do have to take con- uh, control of yourself and look at your own conditioning and that because because if you don't, then your own subconscious can be used to manifest the very thing that these these fucking globalists will use that word for want of a better word say 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 want but they can they can use you almost like a magic wand to help manifest this is where i think it comes into the fact that on a spiritual law through laws they can't get they can't force you to do things but if you acquiesce then they 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 receive no karma they haven't done anything wrong why because you acquiesce this is almost like satanic ideology it's a predatory ideology if you're too stupid to know that i've outwitted you that's not my fault, and I should feel no wrong for that because that is just a natural law of the predatory ideology. Well, that's what we have. And if you wow. acquiesce, then we haven't done anything to you. You've acquiesced. You've said yes. You've agreed. You've consented. You've agreed. You've so we've cons- we've Sign consented for 2,000 years by paying tax and going to work five days a week and fucking supporting others. We've acquiesced. So therefore, on one level, what if this is happening now? This is like in the Matrix where the architect goes, we've destroyed this six times. Well, this is like one of those things like like uh, like uh, Atlantis or the Great Flood. It seems to me we're living in one of these, like Mayans and these kind of people talk about these great epochs in history where the world fucking turns itself upside down. I think we're in one. And, what, and how does it manifest? Why? Because the collective unconscious, the dark night of the soul like Jung, well, we haven't dealt with it, have we? We've acquiesced for 2,000 years to the church, to governments, to monarchs, to fucking globalist corporations now. And so therefore we're, and, and, and we're manifesting the very thing we don't want. And so almost on one level, you could then look at these people who you could look at as the evildoers, which is the black and white sort of evil, good, God, man, dualistic thinking. So we can look at Gates and all that as the other side, the Mordor fucking demons. But also you could look at it going, what, what if they're the manifestation and the gift going, hey, we're the shadow world tapping you on the shoulder to fucking wake up. Wake up, guys. <laughs> this is your chance. This is your chance. Let's go. Well, that's what I, I, that's what I was thinking recently, you know, because I don't fully understand it, but there's a law on opposites. As you were saying earlier, so let's say there's um, sadness and love well, then there would be fear and courage. And in times of great fear, well, then we're going to manifest great courage. So where yeah, there's no that, heart, where there's that. no feelings, now we're going to see this new energy rise. This People talk about the Christ consciousness, right? Mm-hmm. If you want to mm-hmm. use Jesus, for example, right? So there was like, you can't do that, you can't do that. And he was cool, you know, listen, I'm not consenting. I'm not, you know, are you Jesus Christ, King of the Jews? He didn't say yes, he didn't say no. He said, it's you who say I am. You know, you're going to do this. And he kept trying to trick him. But the whole time he says, listen, I'm not buying into this game. So <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, exactly. You know, oh, we're going to kill you. And you go, well, you can't because I'm eternal being. You know, I'm, you, know <laughs> you know, you can try, mate, if you want, like, but you can't. You know, and then he, then he fucking did the ultimate thing at the end. He was like, all right, well, forgive them. Forgive them, dad. They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How annoying would that be if you just stab someone? He's like, I forgive you. <laughs> And then they realized he was God. That's when the dude said, oh, wow, this truly is the son of God. Yeah, bummer. Oh, oh I know what you mean. Because I mean, I mean, cosmic Christianity is non-dual, same as like Buddhism or mysticism or shamanism or, or even the great, you mean, you mean, I've got books here that, that by bloodline families and what they call conspiracy theory books. They know the same thing. They know reality is non-dual. That's why they look at the general population as fucking slave dogs. Because they go, look, you don't, you know, you're living like, but I think I think if you, if you, if you, if you're in a dualism, what? Well, if you create this lockdown world, I even think that what? You want to stick a vaccine in what? I think they want to shut you down into a 3D predatory reality matrix, so that in the future you don't even contemplate your own eternity, your own eternal beingness. What what advantage is that? Who wins off that? Oh, that's what I don't get. I don't know. It's it's such a weird yeah. thing. But maybe but maybe. What that is, is, well, that's the manifestation of our very own acquiescence. And that's the only way to get rid of this is for what? To us to evolve properly. And that evolving doesn't leave pitchforks at the castle anymore. Because like this great Polish artist I saw once, the, brilliant, the Poles do such brilliant fucking political art. They, 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 you know, they have a statue like in Iraq and you watch these people pull it down. So you see God, these paintings. They're always doing that. 
Yeah, you, so you see this rope, like this, about six guys down here in the painting, and they're pulling at the statues like this. But then as the painting is also, you see the foreground, but then you see underground, and all it is is, a, is another statue that goes... <laughs> <laughs> and it just goes all over again right. the circle all right guys here's the new statue there's, there's four of them like this and you see these pictures and they just go <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good for them. It's fucking me. that's it man. that's fucking it you know all right if this you want to stay things. in that 3d revolutionary world you probably won't you'll just get another bunch you might get a few decades where you think you've got it sorted out but guess who's here next <laughs> well it's a constant choice isn't it it's a constant uh, remembering who we are and every yes, single and you know and not reacting to the external stuff it's going to keep coming so we just have to keep on going right i'm not part of that i'm not consenting and the mind and what happens outside it's going to be the same thing it's going to try and you know, sneak in the next dog. Oh, Guess what's coming oh. now? <laughs> ah, and everything, oh. the, the global warming. And, ah, and like, ah, ah, <laughs> what's going to scare me now? <laughs> oh, no, there's uh, nuclear bombs in Korea. Ah, where's Korea? I don't know, but I'm scared. <laughs> I mean, look at it now. The propaganda, right? You know, you sit at a traffic light in fucking Manchester now. In, in, in one minute, I see 60 fucking billboards and fucking buses with COVID fucking things on them, right? So there's a big yeah, billboard. No. It, 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 I know, it's unbelievable. Wait till you see the new vaccine ad on ITV. Whoa. You can't trust everything you read, but you can trust the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you see it. Wait till you see the ad. It's going to make you no, laugh. It's, I won't actually, see it. it's actually so bad you'll laugh. I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to download it and send it to you. I don't laugh. I think I'm a bit more traumatized than you are. So I just get. No, this is, so, this is so propaganda. Like, you, oh, you, mate, it's not, it's not you're beyond. Propaganda. To, me, it's, to me, it's fucking John Carpenter sci fi horror. <laughs> yeah. Like, 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 I don't even know which party. <laughs> like, are you out of here? I see these people walk down the street with these plastic masks. Oh, yeah, the plastic one, the visors. Oh, yeah, but they work. Because the, the no, because co- no, because COVID can't actually go under and up. Once you have that, it hits off it and it bounces off. Yeah, man, I read it. I read it on the BBC. I'm just, <laughs> just to look at you. When, when I see someone, I just want to go up to them and go, "Please, you're an eternal child of God." Oh, yeah. Take the fuck. What? 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 You t- what? You're an eternal child of God. Take that. <laughs> Just do it for him. Stop acquiescing to what you're not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, I'm going, Steve. I gotta go. We gotta go. I gotta wrap up. Let's go. Yeah, uh, unless you've got something you want to add, I've gotta let these guys go. But we could, we could talk for fucking hours. Man. I love chatting. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's... You know, whether you agree with me or not, it doesn't fucking matter if you're out there. You know, uh, the only thing I would say is if you're watching the TV, the only advice to give you the first step to anyone: turn off the telly unless you know how to watch it completely fucking without getting because it's wired to trigger your subconscious right even the most conscious person watching it you got to be careful it's fucking this is genius stuff the first thing i'd say is turn it off turn it off listen to your fucking self and if you hate what's inside deal with it <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can you can watch like the to Irish inquiry. I deal with it for years until I had a fucking breakdown. But you know, I'm a five planet Scorpio, so maybe it was my karma to drag myself through hell. But the first thing I would say is just just turn the telly off. I'm not trying to be better than you. I said, oh, see that this best knows everything. No, just turn the fucking telly off. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be happier. Be the, guard, be the border guard of your mind and your soul, and don't let liars cross it. Just turn it off and go inward and go right. And sometimes you'll hate the day and like I and you just and then just and you know it's your path, individuals. I don't, I'm not telling you fucking anyone. I'm telling anyone anything. It's your path. It's your, you're the manifestation of yourself. Fucking work it out. But just turn the telly off first. <laughs> <laughs> just do me a favor. Yeah. 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 You know, I get, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and Steve's gone. He turned the telly off. Guys, that's it for this week. Oh, he's back. Oh, it's like a full circle. He went and he backed. He died. He was reincarnated. Uh, Comic timing. Comic timing. Yeah, a nice one. Uh, 
That's uh, Steve yeah, Hughes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll be back so again. I've had, you wanna... rant, Dave. I've had a bit of a rant today from my traumatised ego world, my arrogant fucking huge. Yeah, yeah. But, but at the end of the day, you know, we're all... When I say we're all one, I don't mean we're all one. Like We're all one, so it doesn't matter how many people you bring from that small Muslim town to live in this tiny fucking village in Cork. No, that's, there's issues to be dealt with with that. <laughs> but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, just to, you turn the telly off and, you know, you're going to die anyway. So don't let some puffy little made-up virus fucking direct your fucking soul. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let the made-up virus upset you on your way to death, which is guaranteed. <laughs> Die with a bit of self-respect yeah. and dignity and turn the oh. telly off. <laughs> Didn't, don't we watch films like Braveheart? You know, look, men of oh, dignity, man, yeah. honor, and fucking you, yeah, you can fucking, and we all go, yeah. And then somebody says, boo. And everyone's like, oh. <laughs> they should put Mel Gibson with a mask on. <laughs> oh. you know, yeah. just who'd have thought that it, should, that it would have been easy enough to scare the world by going, boo. <laughs> While well, they did it over a period of time, they kept going, boo, boo, boo. It was the repetition of it. That's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've got to go. Yeah, Wrap yeah, it up. We've got to go. Steve, wrapped up. We're gone. Thanks very much. This is Steve Hughes. Follow him on YouTube. Follow him on Instagram. This stuff will be down there. I'll see you again, Steve. Thanks. Uh, take care. Be happy. Remember who you no are. No worries. Today. I'll speak to you soon. Check. <laughs>